like you to uh, be introduced to a couple of fellows from uh, San Diego, California area. They're in the construction business, and they were part of the Cruise That Rock competition this year. Ben Larson and Chris Forster, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about uh, what your project was for the uh, San Diego Central Library. The San Diego Central Library is a new public library in, in the heart of downtown San Diego. It's, uh, it's all cast in place, exposed architectural concrete, various patterns throughout, uh, lots of very, very, very different complicated structures, very high, slanted, irregular shapes, things of that nature. Real architectural statement for the city. Right. And, and how challenging was it for you? I understand you were the, what, general sewer foreman? General foreman out there, yeah. Wow. We started, uh, it was, had about 70 carpenters, maybe another 12 or so laborers at the peak. So lots of guys, and like Chris said, lots of different angles, lots of different forming uh, challenges. Not just one system fit everything. We used several different systems to tackle each different individual uh, challenge, I guess you could say. What, uh, what sorts of unique features did you encounter using the concrete? Well, you know, anytime you have exposed concrete as a finish in a, in a structure like this, uh, the, the look of it's subject to the interpretation of each and every individual that looks at it, obviously. <laughs> Isn't it and, all? And, yeah. And, and, you know, we, we uh, initially, through the mock-up stages, were able to satisfy the architect's design intent very, very pleased and very, very active through that phase of mock-ups to make sure that we were creating what his vision for the structure was. Now, did you guys form the concrete uh, yourselves? Yes. Uh, before, a as well as poured it? Correct. Wow. Yes. Now, now wh wh go explain a little bit, I'm lo losing words here, but explain a little bit how that, how that gets accomplished. Is that all That's done by well, computer? Or? Not, well, we, we had a, we had an AutoCAD detailer who helped us out with some of the all plywood right. layout. Yeah. The plywood layout wasn't like a regular modular four by eight. It was just the architect wanted everything just miscellaneous, nothing lining up. Just he wanted a random pattern. He called it, and and he wanted the building when it was complete to look like it had been there about twenty years. So, um, yeah, uh, lots of stuff. The ar the arch was a big, uh, I guess cherry on the cake 70 feet wide from standing in the ground floor lobby it rose up about 47 feet to the bottom of the bridge soft but i think there's over almost 200 cubic yards of concrete in the uh in the arch itself the gravity arch they called it and that was kind of the architect's main feature of the building that he liked the most whenever he came out and very challenging lots of uh late nights pre-planning sure going through with different i think we interviewed about five different forming companies all showed them our challenges. They submitted their ideas. We worked on each of their ideas and tried to improve them. And we ultimately, for each task, we picked a different formwork company. To so, so the net result was a real team effort. Correct. Correct. How long did it take you to do this? The project all told. was built uh, over about a 12 month period for us. Wow. Yeah, I got out there uh, just about Thanksgiving of 2010. And uh, we still have guys there doing small little pickup stuff. I believe it's the library's due to open uh, April of this month, March or April wow, of this so uh, year. Wow, it's all set to go. So, well, it sounded like a real challenge for anybody. It doesn't matter how long you've been in business. Correct. When you have to self-form and, and then produce the, the final product, it Correct. sounds pretty interesting. It, yes. It was very interesting. It's real good. If anybody wants to get in touch with you on how you might have accomplished some of these things, where can they be reached? Our, uh, our company website is morleyconcrete.com. Okay. And uh, you can reach me through a link that's on that website. All right. And uh, if you'd like to, re to reach Ben, you want to share uh, your email address? Email address is uh, blarson at morleybuilders.com. Excellent. Well, Ben and Chris, appreciate it. Thanks Thank for stopping for by and nice telling us you. about your great project. Thank you. Had to be a heck of a heck of a challenge for you, everybody. Yeah, if you're in San Diego, check it out. Yeah, okay. We'll try to do that. Excellent, thanks a lot.